Okay, guys, this is a very funny setup, but I am on my camera on my phone just to introduce uh, myself for the live stream. It's Heather Boyd Wire, Wire Lady TV, every Wednesday at 1:30 uh, p.m. Eastern Time. We're running a little late today. I'm looking at the camera, and we're going to see how this is going to go. But immediately, I am going to remove the camera, so now you can see what we're working on. This way I don't have to flip the screen and get you guys all dizzy. So we are working on uh, garden tools. This is a special request from Summer. Hi, Amber. How are you doing? Thank you for your patience with the live stream. Uh, it's going to be a short one today because I did have a few glitches. And we are just going to start doing some of these garden uh, tools for Summer. I'm just going to try to get this thing out of the way so you, you can see everything. That should be good. I'm going to have to figure out a better setup for this with the camera, but for today, we're going to be okay. Sketches are cute. Thank you. So I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to start with. This might be a two-week project. I think we're just going to do a starting one today, and then we'll do more gardening ones next week. Although Valentine's is coming up, I should probably do some hearts too. So I'm just going to do some basic tools because that's what she asked for. And then another week, maybe we could do some of the other designs. So I'm going to do, as always, take some 20 gauge wire and we are going to take some off the roll. Hi, Mirta. How are you? And see how much we're going to need. I should probably get a ruler so we can measure this. It's always good to measure. Uh, we could measure it against the paper too. That's always a solution. Garden, it's a garden theme today. This was a special request for summer for garden tools. So I'm going to measure actually about eight inches for the tools. We'll just start with some basic tools and then we'll go from there. I'm just going to let that spin because I don't, I don't want to have to turn the end all the time. So let's just do some little garden tools. I thought it'd be cute to do some with beaded handles as well. This one I thought was super funky. I'm going to start with this guy. It's going to be done with a couple of uh, wires, I think. And it's almost like a whisk, but it's a garden tool. So I'm going to just start by, oh, you can't even see which one I'm looking at. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can. Okay. So everything's a little bit backwards. So I'm going to go ahead and try to keep my hands on camera. I'm, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get a larger one of these clamps for the live stream. I think it's going to be much easier if I have a larger clamp. So it's going to be easier for me to um, reach and all that type of thing. So I'm just going to do like a little loop at the top. I could do it oval. Looks awesome indeed. Thank you. So we're going to bring this one down. I did like a round. You could do a round or an oval shape. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to do like this. Bring that one around and down, and that's going to be the handle. So we're going to bring this one down here, and that'll be our starting point because uh, we need that. But then we're going to need some more wire. Oh, I probably shouldn't have cut that long, that long, but I'm going to cut another little piece of wire to put inside. And I haven't figured out logistically if this is actually going to work. This is just a trial because we see what I did was I did a wire within a wire. So let's go ahead and take this one and bring it down just somewhat in half. I'm going to remove that so it's not in the way. And hi, Sharon. How are you? Sharon, we are doing garden tools. I'm going to bring that up so everybody can see what we're doing every now and then. I'll do that when some new people come on. And we're going to put this one within that one to see if it's going to work. That could be good. And then I think we're just going to fix it around, I guess. Although I might, we could, I wonder if we could just like put it all together. I don't think it would. I was going to say I could put a bead around it, but what I'm thinking, maybe I'll get a thinner wire. So we're going to put that one here. I'll get some 22 or 24 gauge wire. So we're going to get some of this 22 or 24. And then also, Amber, I won't stay too, too long because we're starting late, but you let me know if you have to go at any point. So we're going to bring this one in here. And hi, Cor.
Corey. Nice to see you. You found us. So we're going to put this one here. And Corey, I don't remember. Are you a gardener? Because we're doing gardening things today. So here's the sketches. And we're doing gardening tools for summer. And what I'm thinking is maybe just get this one around here. I don't know at what point I have to. This is really experimental, guys. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but we're going to take this one through here. This was an idea I had, but one of those ideas that I don't know if this sketch is actually going to work. So we're going to bring that one here and then this one, bring it over and tighten it up. These should be spread a little bit more around there. And we're just going to give that one a good little tug, but maybe more even. We want to like really, really tighten that up in there. I don't know if I've tightened it enough. This one might be have to tighten it a little more. Maybe if we just get our pliers and tighten it a little. Getting back to gardening. Awesome. So, Corey, I guess you're back eh, from your trip. Was it a week-long trip? So there we go. And we're going to pinch that here. And then from there, I'm going to just bring this, this one to the back and clip it here. And then we're going to pinch that one. And we are going to maybe wind it around another time. Whoopsies. Around that way and that way. I mean, we could even weave it, I guess, if we had to weave it around again. But I think we're just going to go like that. And maybe I'll bring it up through those two again. You just want it to be really, really secure. So if I push that one up and give that one a good little pinch around. Yeah, you might be able just to weave it. I'm just going to bring that to the back and clip it. So we're going to see how that goes here. And wonderful weather. Awesome. A week. Wow, that's great. Good for you. I love that. So we're going to pinch that one in. So we've just woven those in place so it'll stay. And then the idea is that's the handle. And maybe we could bring it, whoops, that one comes down. Oh, that's interesting. This one would go higher and lower. We want it a little higher. And then now we're going to bend these out here, out, and then this one and that one. So this is going to become like a rake thing. But I do want to do a wire in between. So let's get more of the 22 gauge wire. It's a little easier to weave. So we'll get a, one of those. Cold in the desert. Wow. Yeah, it's really cold today. We had some warm weather, but it's chilly today in Montreal. We had a little snow. So now let's get this and we are going to weave around for this rake. So we're going to take this one here, bring it around here. Okay. Give it a good little twist. And then this one. How far down about here? And we're going to bring this one. Yes, yeah, so it would be really hard to do with the 20 gauge. So we're going to bring that one around. And then this one down and around. And then this one down and around. Okay, so we've got that, that, and this one maybe tighten it up a little bit more. And then this seems it might be wiggling around a little bit. So I'm going to actually clip it on one side here. And we will rake, restrilo in Spanish. Yay. Nice. That's definitely not in my Spanish vocabulary because I definitely don't have that many words in my Spanish vocabulary. So we're going to bring this one back and wind it around to weave behind there too. So we're going to have a couple of rows of the weaving wires just to hold it in place. You guys know I'm not a wire weaver, but this is just a very basic kind of, not even really a weave. It's more like winding it around. So I think we're just going to do two rows. I guess you could do three if you wanted it more solid. 
So we're going to pinch that one here and maybe just pinch these in a little bit. And we can, this one in the middle ended up being a little bit more wide than the other ones, but that's okay. It's not really a huge deal. It's just to show you guys the method. And now the thing is, these are going to be sharp on the end, but that's okay. We can um, file them. We can definitely file them. So if we're going to bring this one down, how big does it have to be? Maybe about like that. And then we will bend them. So we're just going to clip them across. And that one. Could, you could measure them if you want. That's not too bad. So that's the basic um, shape. And let's see if I have my reamer tool. Uh, yeah, here it is. So if you want to soften those ends, we can take that and just soften those ends, okay? I'm not going to do them all, but that gives you an idea of how we can soften it. And now, three weeks to Cuba. Ooh, that's fun. So now we are going to take this one and bend it. I've never been to Cuba. The lady that used to own the art school I taught at used to go to Cuba about three times a year. She had a place she always went there. And uh, she used to collect clothing and toys and bring it down to the people down there because they really don't have a lot. So we used to donate old clothes and and um, toys and things that they might use. And she would bring bags full of things down there for, for people, which was really nice. So we're going to get that. So there, it's a little wide there, but that gives you an idea. So that's the rake. Pretty cool. And then if these are filed, they'll be, they won't be too bad. Yeah, I definitely would have maybe liked these to be a little closer together. I don't know if it's too late kind of bend them in this the wire is going to get a little a little distorted but just to give you an idea how it looks with them bent in a little bit more because I find it a little bit wide we can just bring this one in a little bit it's just so it's not as wide but that gives you an idea so there's a basic rake kind of funky and let's do some of the other tools. So we're going to get the uh, 20 gauge wire again. You've been to Cuba once before. Nice. And maybe we don't need that much. I'll do eight inches again, just to be sure. So creative. Thank you. Okay. So let's do some of the ones with the beads. I think that would be fun. And we can just take this one and with the round nose pliers, bring it down and up. I'm not sure how big these should be. I should maybe have smaller beads for this, but that's okay. And then down, down a little more, and then up. So there's one, two. Yeah, I should have maybe made these a little bit longer, but Okay, we're going to do that up there. So there we have sort of a basic stylized fork thing. Yeah, I think I probably should have definitely done it. The tines a little longer, but that's okay. So we're going to bring that one up and then this one uh, down. And then maybe a little more. And up. Actually, I was going to bead the handles, but now we're not going to be able to fit two beads on these. But another solution, well, let me just think. What if I did, hang on, what if I just did this right here? I'm just going to twist it around. Okay, whoops. Bring that one around here. Be to the back. Okay, so this way, because we're not going to be able to fit, fit the beads on both wires, so a solution would be just to twist that here. Okay, 
And then we can add our beads. Uh, what color? I mean, turquoise is always nice. If we have enough beads, we're going to see. So we're going to put one of these and uh, Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's different than uh, Celsius. That's for sure. Okay, so let me just check some of these beads. We're going to put maybe a turquoise one. And then I actually specifically got out my metallic spacer beads because I was like when you put a little bit of metal beads in with the other beads because it just integrates it a little bit more with the um, wire. So let's do that. And then, well, if we want to really change it up, we can put a cat's eye bead just to have different kinds. And why don't we do one more? Well, I don't really want to use up all my turquoise, you know, and just wait a second. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. So, you know what I'm going to do, because I really need to save those beads for my work, so I'm going to just get them out of my other stash of Miracle Beads and remove that and put the lighter turquoise because I don't use those ones so much. So we're going to do that, 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 and then that one. Now, I guess if you're worried about this slipping, you can bring it across back up the back. But I don't, I'm not too worried about that slipping. So what I'm going to do is actually clip it and then give it a good little pinch so it stays in place. Then it's not going to slip. And then from here, we can do a loop to hang it up, like a little, just a little loop at the top. I mean, these are fancy. You don't really need the beads, but if you want to, them to be fancy, these would be cute, really cute earrings for a gardener. So we're going to clip that one. So there is that one with that looks more like a fork, but I guess if the tines were a little longer, maybe it would look more like a garden tool. But that at least gives you a little bit of an idea of how it could look. I'm going to bring that one, bring that one over. Okay. So there's that. It's kind of cute. looks like a fork, actually, but I like it. Here, can you guys see that? I'll put pictures in the community section so you can see it. And let's get some more 20 gauge wire here. And we have zoop. Yeah, people haven't really fully caught on to my new channel yet for the live streams, but hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll be able to get more people on board hopping onto the live streams. Is that a rake to a spatula? Yeah, I have um, on this one, I'm going to do the trowel and then the with the rake, that's more like a rake. But this one, I could do the little shorter rake too. Maybe I'll do that as well. So if we're going to do the trowel, let's just take this and bend it at a good little angle here and then bring that one up and that one up. Okay. And then we're going to bring this one. Uh, make sure it's wide enough. Bring it over a little bit more and that one a little bit more. And then bring this one across. And I did want to try something because it looks like there's a little crease in it. But without doing it too much, I'm going to bring that one down and then bring that one straight up. And that way it looks like there's a little bit of a... I don't know if that makes sense. Looks like there's a little bit of a crease in there. And then this one across. Okay, so that would be the trowel type of thing. And you could either bend it around there, or if you want this to go up a little bit more, you can bring it here and then hold that and do the twist again. So we're gonna do that around a couple of times here. Uh, watering can. Yes, I could do the watering can too. That would be cute. Maybe I'll do that after this. I'll do the tools first and then I'll do the watering can. Okay, so there is the beginning of the trowel. And then let's put some more 
beads. Why don't we do some different colors? Maybe some greens. We can do some greens on there. Let me see first what we have in these ones. I do have green, but um, maybe I'll use my cat's eye beads. I have a cat's eye green here. And I have, ooh, I have this pale green, which is interesting there. And we can do the spacer bead again here. And then another, maybe this cat's eye bead. I use these quite a bit, the cat's eyes. Oh, this one is, uh, I tied a knot in it, so we're going to um, clip that one off. And put this one, and then one more bead. So let's get that guy on there, if I can find the hole. And then we're going to put one more. I have been to have a clear one. Oh, it's like a clear faceted one. I don't know where that came from. So there's that. Cute. I like the beads, actually. We're going to bend it over. And, yeah, it'll be nice when you guys can actually see what these look like in the photo. So I'll post a photo in the community section here and on the Heather Boyd Wire channel so you can get, see up close what they look like. Okay, so there is the trowel. Super cute. Make sure this is perpendicular or parallel, I guess. There, so there, and then you can make that line a little longer if you want. It just sometimes the proportions are a little off. So we have the trowel and the I don't know if that's a, a digger thing. What is that? What What's that little fork thing that you dig with? I'm not sure. And then we'll do a, a rake. I mean, that would make a great pair of earrings, just those two together, right? And the rake would be a little bit different. In fact, maybe the rake I could more do with a little guy holding the rake. That would be cute because I do like those little, I like the idea of the little figures uh, doing like this guy's holding a little, I'm not sure what that is, but let's try, let's just try a figure and then we're going to do the watering can or let's do the watering can first. Let's just do, we could do the figures another day maybe. So let's do the watering can and smart with the beads. Thank you. Oh, thanks guys. So now let's go ahead and cut maybe 15 inches of wire-ish and oopsies. Let's do the watering can. I've done watering cans before, but this one's a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, thanks for the hearts, guys. I just see hearts. Lisa, hi, Lisa. Thanks for the hearts. Nice. So we are going to take this one and bend it up straight. And we are going to curve it a little at the bottom to give it a little bit of shape. Oop, there it goes. It's like a watering can that my grandma used to have at her house, like one of those old metal watering cans. So there's that. And then we're gonna bend this one straight up. I don't wanna make it too big, but I also don't wanna make it too small. And then we want to bend it for the handle. So we're gonna bend that and get a round form. So mm -mm -mm. maybe this one, bring that one around here and down. So that would be the handle. We'll fix it up after. And uh, now to do the part that goes up, I don't know if I want to, let me just think. Uh, I was going to try to make it look like it's in a little bit, although I don't know if that's necessary because if you wanted, you could just bend it straight out and that would be easy. But if you want to complicate things, which I generally like to do, we're going to bring it in and like that. Okay. It should have maybe been a little lower, but it's all right. And then this one out uh, here and then for the actual watering can let's take that one out and out so that's 
the first part. I thought it would be cute to do the little the little circles for where the water comes out. I, I didn't do that in my previous designs that I've done in the past. So we're going to take this and bring that one around. Yeah, because I have a pair of earrings that I sell on Etsy that's a watering can with a flower. But I don't like to do those same designs on the live streams. I, I want to do some designs that you guys can make. Um, so I change up the designs a little bit when I do the when I demo them on the live stream so we're going to bring this one around and now we're going to do a few little circles on here and see if that's going to work so we're going to see one and then two. Oh, I'm going off camera again those those earrings on Etsy thanks Lisa yeah, the Etsy ones are copyright protected. So these ones, I like to change it up a little bit for the ones I do on uh, on the live stream. So you guys can make them if you want. And, uh, and these ones, you can uh, have fun with them. Definitely have fun with them. So there we go. We're going to bring this one around and over here. And then we're going to do one little might or might not make sense as a design but we're going to see i like the idea of them there being little circles on them so we're going to see so we're going to bring this one over here so now we have i like the way it looks with the circles it's kind of cool i don't know if it's going to be super um, balance uh, proportion wise but we're going to check so we're going to bring that one in here and there okay and we're going to bring that one over here. Okay, so now we've kind of closed the hole a little bit. Yeah, we'll see what it's like. So now we're going to bend this one over a little bit more here. It's funky. Anyways, you don't have to do those circles if you don't want. It's totally up to you. So we're going to take this one and bring this one down here. Perfect. Oh, that looks pretty good. It's interesting. It's a bit like a mushroom, but that's okay. So we're going to take that there and then bring this one here, over here. Whoop. There we go. And then straight up, I guess, over here. Bring it over a little bit more and then straight up. So that way it looks like the kind of interesting it gives a bit of dimension makes it look a little bit more realistic and then this one what I might do is actually do a bit of a double handle so it looks more also looks a little more 3d so we're going to bring that one down and then get our round pliers free hand things Corey yeah it's like really like drawing with wire yeah it really is it's, I'm so used to it by now. And, you know, even if the proportions are off a little bit, it's all right. There we go. Perfect. So there's our, our handle. Looks like an ear. And this looks like a mushroom. So there we go. Perfect. Okay. Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Love the circle's adorable. Thank you. And it really gives it the impression of that's where the water comes out. So I like things to have a little bit of a meaning you know a little to make sense type of thing so i'm going to bring this one around i don't want this too tapered because it's more of one of those like chunky watering cans so we're going to bring that one up over and then we're going to make it 3d looking so we're going to bring it over here and then back so there so that gives that just that ellipse gives it the impression of being three-dimensional and then to hang it, we because, I mean, you could hang it from one side, but it might be heavy. Uh, so I know when I've done earrings, I've usually hook it onto the handle. But I think we're just going to bring this up here because that way I'm not 100% sure. it's I don't want it to be too heavy over there if there's too much wire. So we're going to go here. And then I'm going to... Take this one up and I'm going to take this one across here. Okay, so that is our watering can. We're going to just 
twist that one around here. That's good. And then clip it. Perfect. Okie doke. Now we are going to just give that a little, just give it a little twist, I guess. Just, it's just to have a little loop to hang it up with. If you want to hang it, it could be a pendant too. So we're going to take that and go around once. Uh, and clip, pinch, and bring it in. And then we're going to clip it again. So there we go. Perfecto. I really like the basket one too. Maybe I want to do the basket because the basket's super cute. So here's the watering can. Looks pretty good. There, more chunky. So that's like that one. And I did do the I did do the loop at the top. But if you didn't want the loop and you wanted to hang it up, I just am not 100% sure it's going to hang. Aw, thanks, Lisa. I don't think that's going to work like that. No, there's my phone, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. Wait, put it in, see? And then if we want, we can put like little flowers on there that would be cute too. So if we want to do that super fast, maybe we'll get a contrasting color. Oh, we could have even, well, I was going to say we could have done it in copper, but that's okay. How about this one? Let's get some contrasting color. Okay, that's okay. I can do that. Deal with that later. So what? Okay. So now we are going to take this and uh, make a little flower. Uh, we could do the beaded flower too, which I've which I've done before. Was remember with the which was it was a teapot I think that I did the beaded flowers before. So we can just maybe just try to do a simple flower. We do three three of these. This is really long, but I'm just gonna do three and six of these maybe or five. Let's see how many we need to make a flower. Watering can, rig, rig, rigadera. Ooh, interesting. That's fun. Nice. So here we have just, you could do like a little flower like this if you want. And keep it simple. We're going to twist that one around. Okay. And I don't know if this is going to look much. I don't want to waste too much time on this, but you can definitely embellish the watering can uh, with, some uh, like little little flowers and stuff. So if you want to just do like little leaves, maybe it should be smaller than that. I'm just going to freeform it a little bit. Okay. And then this one around, oops, this is not, I'm just going a little too fast with this now. So we're going to take this one and bring it in to do like a little leaf thing. No, my flower's a little small, I think. Oh, it doesn't look so good. Okay, so I'm going to, you could do lots of little flowers, or if you don't like the way that looks, you can go ahead and do your beaded flower, or we can maybe just do a slightly larger flower. I think I just wasn't thrilled with how that one was looking. So we're just going to bring this one and do a simple kind of daisy type flower by bending these back and forth. The loops just didn't quite cut it. So we're just going to do one this way. A simple flower. Rather than doing a bunch of little ones, I'll just do one larger one. Okay, so we're going to bring that one in here. This is definitely a flower I've done many times on my channel as a ring, as a pendant, different things. So you can 
do anything you want in there. I thought I thought butterflies is very gardening too. So I thought about doing some butterflies, but we're just going to bring that one up. And then we can do, yeah, maybe we're just going to do a little uh, loop thing. So if we do want to do a little spiral loop, we can just cut it to about a inch and take this. And hi, Jerry, how are you? Welcome. Thanks for Thanks for finding me because this is the new channel for the live streams. So I appreciate that you've been, uh, you found me and were able to come on the live. I'm going to be doing all my live streams on this channel. I'm uh, going to be doing the slideshows on this channel, probably also the challenges, the 10 day challenges, and I might do some vlogging, which would be fun. So stay tuned for that. So there we go. And that is the little flower. I like it. It's cute. It's really cute. So you can you can do a stem on the flower or you can leave it like that. But why don't we, we have enough wires. So why don't we just do a little stem here just for fun. So we're going to bring that one and go that way and then bring that one and go that way to the back maybe. There we go. And then I'm going to just wind it around to hold them in place. Okay. And that will be the flower. Oh, it's really cute. Um, to attach it up here, I might want to wind a little piece up there to attach it, but I would use a skinnier, like a skinnier wire, maybe a 24, 26. So this one I think is 26. I'll just grab a little piece of that. It's just to anchor it, otherwise it's going to be flipping. So let's go ahead and start this one here. And it's 20 to 3, so you, uh, Amber, you can let me know if it gets too late. We're going to bring this one on here. That was a slow start today. So we're going to take this one, bend that one to the front, bend this one to the back, and uh, wait, I'm going to bring that one in here, I think. Bring that to the front. Uh, there we go. Okay. It's a little finicky. So we're going to bring that one and then bring it through again. We are just really want to anchor it. We don't have to do too much fussing around with it. Okay. Um, no, that didn't even go through. Okay. Let's try again. There we go. Perfect. There. There, that's fine. We're just going to bend that to the back. And then this one. There we go. So these are just going to be anchored at the back. And I'm going to trim that. Ah, are you a gardener, Jerry? That's awesome. I'm not at all but uh, my husband used to do gardening my mom did gardening when we were growing up but i'm um, yeah i definitely do not have a green thumb so we're going to just take this and wind the bottom wire here in the middle so we're going to go around a couple of times there we go perfect and there excellent Okay, interesting. That So we just maybe want to anchor that in place a little bit. I'll try to squeeze it a little bit. Uh, it might be a little tricky to get it so it won't slide, but you might have to really pinch it in there. So that's a little better. Uh, it's still, still sliding a little bit. I should have pulled it a little bit tighter. But... That's going to be okay. Let me get that in there. That's okay. It just gives you the idea. You might want to anchor it a little bit better, but that is the, the um, watering can. That's really cute. I'm going to grab a little sip of water. Speaking of watering can, <laughs> thank you guys. You like the flower. Awesome. Cool. So that's that. Now, the other thing I really, really like 
is this basket. I think that's really cute. So why don't we try to do that a little bit, I'll try to be a little quicker, but we can use maybe the copper for that. So I'm gonna get a piece that's a decent size. Oh, we have to see if I actually have other, oh, I have, no, that's not copper. Here's some 22 gauge copper. I'm just trying to think to fill it in. I have to make sure I have a, a wire that's the same color to fill it in with. So instead of copper, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do um, gold. So let me make sure I have some gold uh, 20 gauge. Yeah, I think this is, this is good. So here's some, let's do gold because I definitely have thinner gold wire that I could use to make the basket. So I don't need that much. I'm pretty sure about 12 inches will be plenty here. And to do the basket, we are going to take this and take this one here. How much we want? Maybe almost the middle, not quite. So we're going to bring that one up here, there, and we're going to take this one up here, up. Maybe we could do the flowers out of beads. That might be good too. And then we want to bring this across. Uh, no, the longer one. Let's bring the longer one across. I'm going to get these out of the way. I'm going to bring the longer one across here and straight across. So we've got that and then we've got that. And if we want these, if we want to do the handle twisted, I'm going to bring that this way and then we want to crisscross them. So we're going to make sure it's at about the right position and then we're just going to do the crisscross thing and hopefully it won't get too distorted. We're going to bring this one around. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to have to be. Probably a decent length here. Just made some rings like this recently the double heart rings with the twisted band. So we've got that. And now we're gonna bring this one around here. That should be all right. Okay, so now we're just going to oh, trim that here and okay, bring that one around and around here. So we're going to bring that one here. And so 12 inches was plenty of wire for this. You could probably get away with 10. So we're going to bring that one around here and then bend it into the corner there. So it's going to stay. We're going to clip that. And there's a nice basic shape for the basket. And then we can just adjust that. It's very similar to one I did for the tea uh, pot uh, a few live streams ago. Okay, so there. Uh, maybe bring this one up a little bit more, maybe a little taller handle, you can adjust it. And then this one got a little distorted. So that's okay. So that would be the beginning of the of the um, basket. Just trying to see how much high, how high we want the handle. I think that's okay. So there's the basic shape for the basket. Um, dragonfly. Ooh, that'd be nice. Yeah, dragonfly would be nice. So now let's go ahead and try to do a bit of a basket weave in there. So I'm thinking the 24 gauge if we have. This is the 26. Um, I don't know if I have 24. Let me just see what I have. I have 26. Oh, here's the 24. That might work better. So let's try that. And fill it in a little bit for the baskets. How much do we need? We're going to take a few of these. Okay. And 
clip it. And how are we going to do this basket? I mean, I could have also done with the 22 gauge wire, which might be good too. Let me check the 22 to be sure. This is a 22. It might be a little thick, but I kind of want it to be visible too, right? So I might just keep it stylized. Uh, let's take a little extra to be sure. I'll take this. 22, see if it's better than the 24. There, and remove that one. It's going to be a bit of a mess. So this is, 22 is pretty flexible though, even though it's uh, thicker. Let's try it. So we're going to start probably in the middle and see how we do. So we're going to go here, maybe a little more to one side. So we're going to take this uh, and yeah, the basket part might take a little while to weave it. I'm going to see how that it does. I'm going to bring that one up, uh, try to stay on the camera, move those out of the way and bring that one through. This might take a little bit longer. This will be our last thing for today, but I could definitely do some more gardening things. I might do some hearts next week and then do the gardening things. I'll bring back the gardening things in a few weeks when the spring comes. So this is just a little sneak preview, and then I'll do some more gardening stuff in a few weeks. So these are a little bit wobbly, but... I'm going to try to do a bit of a weave here and hope it's not going to take too long. And then the, the flowers, I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure you wire weavers would be able to figure out how to do this a little better, but it's okay. It's not too bad. Good. It's freezing up. The screen is freezing up. Let me know, guys. Let me know because I don't have any. I don't have any uh, indication here that the screen is freezing. But if you guys can let me know, uh, I can't tell on my end. Good on your end. Okay, so Lisa, maybe it's maybe it's your um, maybe it's your internet. That's possible. It's okay now. Okay, so maybe it was just buffering a little bit. It can hap It happens to me sometimes, just when the internet goes wonky but it so far looks okay on this end. So yours is fine. Good, good. Okay. So hopefully it's back to normal, Lisa, and we're good to go. So let's just keep winding this through back and forth, trying to straighten these wires as I go, but I'm not going to worry too much about them if they're not super straight. Yeah, they're, they're really not super straight at all. So it's just to give the idea of a kind of a basket weave. So if we're just going to keep going with that. And I guess we could also get them more tapered out as well because they, they get wider as they go out. So maybe I should have been doing that all along. I could squeeze these in a little bit at the bottom, bring that one out and over. Okay, over here. And then bring this one here, okay. And then this one up. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do the cross wires, but for now, I think we're okay. So we're just for now. And I am gonna to try to get another stand for my camera so it's not as low down. So I'll have a little bit more wiggle room with my hands here. I mean, it's not, terrible but I feel like it's a little bit close although better maybe it's better to be too close because that way you guys can see what I'm doing I'm gonna bring this one in here wind it around a little bit more and up a bit more get right over there and up in there and around and through there. We're getting there. We're definitely getting there. 
Okay, and then maybe this one will go to go up again. I think if we do one more up here, that should be all right. So we're gonna bring that one up here. And every now and then I nick the stand for the for the camera so it, it gets it jiggles every now and then. So that's just the basic shape. And then now we're gonna try to bring this one back across and see how that goes. Ricky, this would take me all day. <laughs> yeah, it could take all day. It definitely could. I have to speed up the process a little bit because I don't want to take you guys, like, take too much of your time. But at the same time, I do want to finish it so we can see how it's going to look. So basically here, I'm not going to try to weave it at all. I'm just going to go back and forth with the wires. Because if I actually try to weave it between the wires, uh, there's no way. It's going to take me forever. So we're just going to go back and forth and bring the wire down as we go. So this is why you should probably have one, one end of the wire longer than the others so that you have one end that you can wind uh, crosswise as well as vertically. So I'm going to bring that one in here. I'll just do as many as I can. Okay, we're just going to do as many as we can. And yeah, this definitely is time consuming. Yeah, That's why I would never sell the items that I make on the live streams because they take way too long. They're one of a kind samples to give you guys ideas of what you guys can make. And uh, I keep them all. I keep them all in a little uh, basket or a little Tupperware bin downstairs and they're just for reference you know I don't know if I'll sometimes I go back and look at them depending on you know if I need to see details so here is the basket and from here we can also clip this one so that's cute pretty simple and you can adjust these to bring them up a little more if you need uh, this one, see, they're a little close together, so we can maybe separate them a little bit. You can adjust them as you want. So there's the basket. Just going to grab a little sip of water. Amazingly patient. I'm patient for some things. Not always. I don't usually do weaving because I, I don't, I find I don't have a lot of patience for weaving, but I have patience for working out new designs because that's what I... I love to do so let's get some wire to make some flowers this one's maybe not let me see if i have red i think i'm out of red 20 gauge wire i'm gonna have to get more red 20 gauge wire i have some this fuchsia here that might be nice so why don't we try to do a fuchsia flower and I was gonna do it with beads, but now I'm thinking I wanna do it with wires. So let's go ahead and do that if we can. So cute, thank you. Thanks guys. Let's do, cause this is how the basket looks here. Now, whether we wanna do that the same, we're gonna see. Let's get a wire here and bring it around. Not sure about, I don't wanna do it too big either. So we're gonna bring this but I also want to fill it in a little bit with wires. So why don't we do, why don't we do our thing where we try to fill in the petals? So this this time, what I'm doing different that I don't usually do is do like a double petal. So let's try that. We go around here, here, and then we'll try it again from here, up, up, and then I'm going to bring it to the front. The other one was to the back. Now I'm going to bring it to the front. And I'm really not going to worry if they're exactly the same size because I want them to look a little bit organic. But I am doing double, double petals just to fill it in a little bit. Like you know how I fill in areas with that chaos wrap? It's the same idea, but we're in a sense, but we're just doing double petals. So we're going to go here. And now I'm bringing it Sometimes I bring it to the front, sometimes to the back. So it ends up being not all the wires going the same direction. Otherwise, they're just going to not end in the same place. So we're going to bring that one here. Do our little double flowers here. 
and around here and this one and bring it flip it so we can have them going different ways whoops snap and then around and then one more so then we'll just do one more there and bring it the other direction i like the way that looks with the double petals there's always something new on these live streams and i like that so now pretty color eh? yeah this is the what's it called magenta artistic wired magenta okay so here's our flower and we're gonna get that in here so what i want to do is one of these can go to the back and then this one here if you want to do the spiral again you could definitely do the spiral in the middle again because that always looks cute so let's clip it to about an inch ish and now we're going to get our round pliers petals the petal yeah petals just take practice and it's it is hard to get them the same size but flowers are not regular like it's okay if they're regular sizes so we're going to pinch that in here and then to bring it around i just want to be careful not to ruin the color but i'm going to just bring it in with these it should be all right it's pretty resistant the the wire you just have to be a little bit careful not to scratch it but like this i'm doing with the flat pliers and so far it's not scratching so that's good so there we go Oh, I like it with the spiral. That just gives it a little bit of interest. Oh, it's kind of blurry, eh? That's okay. You're, you're going to see pictures in the community section. So now, this is a little bit long, so we can trim it. And put it here. So if I want to bring it, I'm just going to stick it through the basket part and then bring it around again. And then we're going to put it through another one. I might have to flip it to see where we're, where we're going with this. So I'm going to take that and put it through the next section of the grid. And bring it, give it a good little twist. Okay. And then if it's still moving, you could bring it a third time. But I think it's all right. This petal got a little bit distorted, but it's all right. I think it looks good. Okay, so it's not flipping a uh, little bit. If it's flipping, you could bring it through a third time and just see how it just see how it's going. Okay. I think it's fine. Is that gonna be hidden? Yeah, because you want it to be a little bit hidden too. I'm going to bring that one over. Okay. Okay. Bring that over and up. Perfect. And then we're going to trim that. Okay. So there's our flower in the basket. It's pretty cute. And there's other flowers on the side. So I think I will stick with color wire because if you if I start beading at this point it's going to look funny but let me just see if I have some turquoise let me just see what I have I have these wires I did have actual turquoise but I also have yellow okay I have yellow and I'm just going to look over here because I did have some turquoise that I bought in Amsterdam years ago. I don't seem to have any left. I guess I used it all up. So let's see what we have in here. Yellow. I'm not sure about the yellow. Okay. Uh, thank you, Vicky. Wow. Oh, thanks, guys. 
So there we go. So we've got the blue, maybe the blue we can do. I've got some green too, if we need some stems. Okay. And I'm just gonna check my other colors. I'm gonna have to get more colors. Ooh, this is pretty. This is more like a, a rose gold, but I already have a pink one, so maybe not that one. Let's do a blue one, I guess, and see what kind of flowers we want. So again, you could vary your flowers a little bit if you wanna just make them various shapes and stuff. So fuchsia and magenta are very similar because I can show you, there's another roll of artistic wire I have that is, of course, I can't find it now, but I have another roll that I just pulled out not too long ago that is the magenta fuchsia. So they're very close, very close. So let's get this and move those for a sec. Do little flowers. We could do our little loopy flowers too, eh? So we're just going to try our these little flowers, see if they're going to work. I mean, I could finish it after the live. Amber, you let me know how you're doing because I can always finish the flowers after the live stream and just post a picture. So here's the, for the little blue one. And if I put like a little blue one there, it could be cute. And then of course I would wanna do the spiral on top too. So we're going to do that. And then again, we're going to trim that, trim it here and about an inch. And hopefully it's going to be the right size there. And um, maybe no time restriction. Yay. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, I don't have to rush out to the post office today. It's a little bit quiet after Christmas. Oh, now that spiral's a little bit big. Okay, so that spiral's a little big. I will trim it. I can just trim it here. Yeah, that was way too much wire because this, this flower is so small. So we can just trim it a little bit. And there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Is that good? Oh, there we go. It just got pushed over a little bit. There we go. There we go. Just push that over a little bit. And there. I think that's good. A little wobbly and then we could put that one over here just in here and you could do more flowers like that if you want to but we're going to just try it like that and see hey Mimi just finishing up the live no problem what's it like out there hoodies what kind of hoodie? Oh, are you serious? Yeah. No way. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Cool. I love that. Is it on their site? Oh, yay. That's awesome. Mimi's part of a camera club, so they've got merch. Merch. Okay, how are we going to get this? Oh. I'm having trouble getting this in here. We're just going to pull this because the, the wire is quite uh, thick because it's 20 gauge. So I don't know if that's going to be hard to get around. I'm just going to I'm just going to try this again. Rather than pull it through, I'm just going to bring it down, I think, underneath. I'm not going to worry too much about this being perfect. It's just really to show you guys. It's just... This wire is actually really soft. The blue, I think it's aluminum. It doesn't feel like copper. It feels like aluminum. So we're just going to clip that here. Get in there, 
you. Okay. And we are going to, yeah, it's getting a little bit distorted, but that's something that I can always fix after. But anyways, I think I'm going to fix it after, but that's, that would be the flower. And then we can do some more on the other side, but maybe in a different color. And I, I don't have a lot of colors. I used to have purple. Oh, actually, I have purple, but maybe it's not going to be a nice... Um, maybe it's going to be too contrasting from the magenta. Let me just check. Yeah, the purple is aluminum, and I got that one in Amsterdam. So here's a purple. It's really nice. So maybe I can do purple on the other side. I think that's going to be good. So what kind of flower? Uh, let's try to make it a little bit different. Flower looks like a butterfly. That's all right. Yeah, I could actually, wouldn't that be cute? Um, Sharon had suggested a, a dragonfly. I could hang one off the end. That'd be super cute. I could definitely do that. Now, what I was thinking to do is try to just do some skinny leaf flowers. But for that, you would just, I guess, bend the, ba the wire back and forth. Let's try that. If we just bend them back and forth, I don't know how many times. Try that, uh, maybe more than five, maybe six or something. We're gonna bring like that, that, back, and back, and back. Okay, so there's a bunch, and let's just pinch these so they're very skinny. I haven't really done this kind of flower before either. So this is fun. There and there and there. Okay, so there's that. So we can bring that one around. I don't know how that, if that's gonna work or not. Maybe. Um, what I'm wondering is maybe, because these are, maybe you have to overlap these. Kind of like give them a little half twist. That might work better. Um, we're just playing with this for now. So we're going to see how that works. Mm, no, you know what? That's too... I don't know how well that's going to work. I'm going to get some other wire here. Let me have a look for 24. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, what colors do we have? Here's some. This is 24. How about this light purple, maybe? Let's see what we have here. Yeah, I definitely have to get some more colors. Oh, here's the other one that was the fuchsia versus magenta. So fuchsia is a little brighter than the magenta. So that's that. And let's go ahead and take a piece of this. 24 gauge wire and see what we can do to make a flower like I was saying going back and forth. Let's see if we can do it this way. Oh, hi, Lindsay. You caught us. We're, we're, I'm still live. I'm going a little over time because I started late. So I'm just going to bend this one back and forth. I don't know how many back and forth I have to do. We're going to try that and see how that's going to work. So if we do something like this, oh, that might not be. A, um, oh, that would be interesting, actually. What if we just did a bunch of these back and forth? Maybe now it's too big. Okay, we're going to try. Uh, back and forth. Okay. Might or might not work. There. Okay, so this is, if we have that, and then we need uh, this going to the back, and this one over here, we're going to close up. Oh, let me just see something. What if, I don't know if this is going to work, but we can, no, I was going to try to put my wire in between all of them, but I don't think that's going to work. So we're going to take this one here, bring that here, and 
bend that one down. Okay, we're going to bend that one down. And we are going to take this one and bend that one around. Okay, so then that this one should go through to the other side to hold it in place. I'm just going to trim this. And maybe we can bring this, let's see how many we have. Let's just bring this over to the other side just to just to secure it in the middle. Okay, just that way it won't come apart. Looks a little funny, but we're just gonna do that to bring that apart uh, there. And then we're gonna spread the petals, spread the petals around. They look really funny, but that's okay. And then what I was thinking, if this is gonna work, is what if we curve them out? That might be interesting. So we're just gonna curve the petals around to make it a little bit more 3D. I actually have a tutorial for a flower like this that you do this and curve it out and it ends up being it can be a pendant or a brooch. So that's kind of interesting. And then just maybe squeeze it together a little bit because there definitely are flowers that look a little bit like that. I'm not sure what it's called. And I guess you could put another wire or something in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of 3D, which is kind of interesting. And we're just going to stick that one in here. So, yeah, the sky is the limit with that, guys. So I think I'll probably work on the flowers a little bit more before I post a picture. But this is the idea. So I'm going to fill that in a little bit. And then say you did want to do a dragonfly sticking out, we can get some thinner wire. It could even be the the 24 gauge. I can find some uh, 24 gauge. Let's see what we have. This one is 26. And where did I put the 24s? These are 24s. Mm -hmm. Oh, the copper. Look at that. I have the copper one. What color would a dragonfly be? Maybe you could do in green, I guess. It's like an aqua green, but this might be a little small. So say we did want to do a dragonfly. I'm just going to take a piece of wire, small, and we can do a, let me just see how I'm going to do them. I really like the dragonflies when they have a twisted tail. So if we do that and pull that, uh the dimension really works thank you yeah i like the way it works with a little bit more dimension so here's the tail you make it a little bigger and then we're going to bring the wings over this is just like the classic dragonfly it might be a little bit big and bring that one here over and over up and then this one too, uh, over. The wings aren't quite the same size, but that's okay. We're gonna go over and then over here. Okay, so I'm actually gonna just bend this one around here and then back down again so we can attach it to the basket. We're gonna spread the wings a little bit spread the wings there cute and then you could put a little bead for the head i like the beads uh let's look at the miracle beads mm -hmm. we're in the home stretch guys so we have the miracle beads maybe i'll just get one of the turquoise ones i think it's going to be good and we're going to put the bead on there that's cute and then to finish it off, I usually just finish it in a kind of infinity sign. And that kind of represents the eyes, I guess, of the dragonfly. And it also gives it a nice finish. So we're going to do that, clip that, and bend it there. So there, that's cute. And then we can curve the tail and curve that out. So there's our teeny, teeny, teeny little dragonfly. And then you can attach that 
hanging up from the basket. I guess that way, that way, I guess that way. So do you want it? You can see you could do it up from the basket if you want, or you could just simply attach it on the basket might be cute too. So we're going to bring that one over here. I was thinking of having it above the basket, but I kind of like the idea attached to the basket. I think it's cute. So we're going to hold that there and bring this one through here. That was a very improvised last minute addition. I'm going to bring that one here and there. And then maybe we're going to attach it just at this side of the basket too. So it's attached in two places so it won't fall off. There. Perfect. On. Making my lunch hour so much brighter. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. That's awesome. I'm happy that I've brightened your day. So um, I'll uh, just finish up here. And if your lunch hour is long, you can always go back and watch the beginning of the live stream. So there we go. Perfect. And then I just have to, I'm going to fix the flowers. I'm going to do that uh, after the live stream. And I'll put a post a picture, but I do like that dragonfly. It's super cute. And then I'm just going to attach all these bits. So let's see everything that we did. We did the basket. We did the watering can. And we did a lot today, actually. We did the earrings that could be the rake and the trowel. Cute with the beads. And we did the rake, the actual rake, that you could probably bring this outside and rake in your garden with it. So, guys, let me know what's your favorite. I will finish it up and uh, post pictures in the community section. Everything's great. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks, Vicki. Thank you, guys. So I'm going to flip the screen in a way that I can say goodbye. So let's hope I'm not going to be upside down. We're going to try this. Should be all right. I have to go back, though, so we can see. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to, I guess, as long as I'm in the camera, should be here. I can get on my knees. There we go. Good. So, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for hopping on the live stream. Thank you, everybody, for your great ideas. Thank you to Summer for asking for the garden tools. Thank you for Amber for moderating the chat and always doing the timestamps. I super appreciate that. I hope everybody has a great rest of the day. Uh, keep recruiting people over to the Wire Lady TV channel for people that are looking for the live streams. Um, it's going to be a, a, a slow process getting people to realize that here are the lives, but we're going to do it. And uh, thank you, everybody, for your wonderful feedback. As always, your great comments. I can't see them now, but I super appreciate it. And we will see you the next time. Bye.